I'm Dan Ramaday here from Positive TV and we're here at the Lush Summit 2018. A fantastic bringing together um, of people that Lush work with or support, NGOs and charities and it's a really vibrant four floors of amazing happenings. It's activists, um, NGOs and they're covering so many different topics animal welfare, human rights, refugees. They're looking at sustainable development within the industry of the cosmetics that they develop. We're meeting farmers from all around the world. We're making a difference in the world with Lush. Um, so it's a fantastic um, day and we look forward to introducing you to some of the many people that we'll find here. Thank you. Hi, my name's Michael and I'm coming to you from the Lush Summit at Old Billingsgate in London. The Lush Summit is a collaboration and collection of groups from all over the world who are fighting to make the world a better place through activism, direct action, everything from where we source our materials from and how we can help the world grow into a more kinder and collaborative planet. So as a company we've always been very involved in activism and campaigning groups and charity groups. Uh, we want to give these groups, often small, independent, small grassroots charities, a platform, a global platform. We have almost a thousand shops across the planet and it's a great way of interacting with people from all over different parts of the world and different walks of life as well. The summit was uh, the idea of a, a number of people throughout the business to, to give a big space in central London and give these groups the ability to talk to the public directly. We're stood in the Environment Gallery and we wanted to give activist groups and direct action groups from all over the world uh, a place to showcase all of their beautiful images that they've taken. We've got groups from Yorkshire through to Germany, through to Japan, China and Brazil, all fighting to make the world a cleaner and greener space. Hello, my name is Salia Rafai. I am here with uh, We Are One Collective, an organisation that's been going on for about uh, a year. We started off after doing some work uh, in Europe with refugees and we decided we wanted to kind of further that work by doing more psychosocial activities. And uh, we wanted to kind of bring what we did in refugee camps around Europe to here to show what people could do even in some of the toughest places because you can see here it kind of represents some of the places that we, we were in before. So uh, we were trying to create this kind of temporary autonomous zone where people can, even in the most kind of difficult places, you can still come together as other humans and uh, share ideas, uh, collaborate, uh, come up with some kind of positivity, do some art, uh, or even just a, a place to chill out. So somewhere where it's the, uh, away from the kind of the, the hand of the authorities or something like that where we can still be in tune with each other and uh, to grow and learn with each other. So we created this TAS, the Temporary Autonomous Zone, where people can come, join in, learn, uh, teach us many, many different things. And um, we're, we're hoping it will build up over the day so people will come and add things to it as we go along. Um, and we're trying to get people into the idea that anybody is an activist, anybody can do it. You don't necessarily have to go away to somewhere else to help or be part of a cause or be involved but anybody can do it and it just takes maybe a, a mindset or, or just a bit of motivation to, to get involved like you know so anybody that has done any kind of activism has to start with an idea so it's that thing is in yourself to be able to do it yourself so we're trying to encourage people to become more active in communities in, in society and in, in different ways um, and yeah, we're, we're hoping that they take that on board and go and do great things for, for uh, the people around them and for the future. Hi, I'm Gabby. I'm a creative buyer at Lush. I work on raw materials and say synthetic sourcing. I'm part of our sustainable Lush Fund team. And I'm also working with our digital team on ethical hardware and ethical sourcing. So we're here at the Lush Summit, which is this amazing celebration of everything that we're passionate about Lush, from human rights to animal protection. And also we have a number of our key suppliers present, people that really embody environmental and social regeneration. And so it's a great opportunity for our staff and for visitors to interact, to learn firsthand more about the important work that this com these campaigning groups do and our suppliers and everyone else, but also a networking opportunity for all of these really crucial people working in all these different fields to get together and form strong connections beyond Lush. 
So one of the absolute highlights for me is just seeing people being able to meet in person. So a lot of the groups that we work with actually being able to form those human connections as well. We have an amazing cacao space where we have the Colombian peace community here, who are one of our key cocoa suppliers. And they're talking not just about cocoa, but also about the ongoing challenges that they're facing during the peace process in Colombia. We have the amazing argan cooperative, the female cooperatives producing our argan oil here, showing how they crack the argan nuts to get the kernels out and press the oil and then we have phenomenal panels happening as well on the stage so you have a range of experts not just internal to Lush but from different parts of the industry coming together to talk about really crucial topics all these things that are worth exploring and worth getting debates going about. So my name's Mark and I work for the Lush product donations team what we do is um, as a whole we support any local charities with any extra product that we've got um, on top of that, we've got some wonderful things we get involved in with different charities. Um, lots of different areas of relief work, refugee camps. It can be anything from a children's respite centre right the way up to um, a 10,000 people camp uh, in Cyprus or um, Syria. Um, some of the groups we've got here today, we've got food kitchens. They travel the world and they feed people. Brilliant people to be involved in. We've got displays like this so that people can learn exactly what it is. This boat behind us is designed for about 10 to 15 people. It will be, when it arrives in the UK, used by about 45 to 60 people at a time. So when people arrive and they see a dinghy, it's a fun thing. Once you've sat in it and you hear the truth, it's not so much. It kind of removes the niceness of a dinghy and gives you a real feel for what it actually is. We've got guys behind us from, they give me a very lovely t-shirt, the We Are One Foundation. They go from refugee camp to refugee camp and they build installations, whether it be for art, for the children, or whether they be helping build tents or, again, it's all given their own time, they just go and do it for free, go and help out a lot. Um, the Asylum Destitution. Um, they again will go to camp to camp trying to improve in any way they can people's lives. So whether it be finding them shoes or clothes, food, um, I'm trying to think what else we've got around here. They've got so much. My Syria, my England. We've set this up like a home in Syria. The young lady is from Syria. She's been, she's made the journey. And if you sit down and you talk to her, you're talking to someone who's been there. They've seen it, they've done it. So um, it's really humbling thing to sit down and, and speak to someone who's been through it as opposed to seeing it on telly where it's not real it's further away it's nothing to do with me once you sit down with someone and they've made the journey it kind of brings it right home to you as to how real and how bad these situations are hi i'm jenny and i'm working here in the environmental area um, here specifically we've got lots of talkers, we've got over 35 talkers over the next um, couple of days and they'll be covering things like mining, environmental issues, uh, nuclear power um, and um, yeah, it's, there's so many talkers, there's so many things to sort of listen to, there's the things happening at the same time, we've also got the workshop happening as well um, and uh, yeah, you can also, we've got a film area, the gallery area, um, in the film area you can choose what film you'd like to watch um, and of course we've got a lot of so thank you Lush for having us to your summit 2018 with our positive youth team. Um, it's just an amazing, amazing amount of things happening here and we've met so many people and organisations who are making a difference in the world. So thank you for being a brand that cares so much.